So I'm gonna make the Weight Watchers potato and leek soup, but I'm gonna leave out the sour cream. I don't see that it's gonna add a whole lot to the soup. It may add a little bit of it, of richness, but I'm gonna see how that goes. I may wanna substitute that back in next time. I'm gonna use red potatoes. Um, we just had these cooked already. The leek is from Misfit Markets box. We got it on Saturday. So a few days ago, it's starting to go just a little bit, and I wanna use it before um, it goes too much longer. I'm gonna try something with the leek, just like I do with the onion. I'm gonna leave, oh, a terrible knife. Um, I'm gonna leave this bottom part with the roots attached, and um, let's plant it and see what happens. I mean, it can't hurt, all it can do is not grow. So I'm gonna peel off these outer leaves before I start slicing, I am not using my good knife on this leek until it has been washed. Leeks are notorious because they grow in um, the sandy, sandy soil. They have to have sandy soil to grow. So there's a lot of sand and dirt and gunk caught up in here. And yeah, that's not going around my knife. Also, these aren't going into my um, vegetable bag until they have been cleaned. I'm actually probably gonna just throw these tops away um, you could compost those or whatever. So before I get my potatoes involved and get any sand and gunk on them, I'm gonna move them off. Okay, I'm gonna slice the leek down the middle. So I can open up all of the layers. As you see, between each layer there is sand. Because it grows up through the sand, they are notorious for having sand and gunk in the middle. So that's why I'm not using my good knife on those. I'm gonna take those over to the sink, give them a good scrub, let them soak in the water. Probably gonna cut them up just a little bit more um, so they can float around in the water. The sand can sink to the bottom. I'm gonna change the water two or three times and then bring those back once they're clean. I'm gonna start off by taking the um, tender portions of the leek. So I have separated the tender portions and the, um, the harder tops. Probably won't be using the harder tops of the leek today. So these are all clean and separated, ready to be chopped. I'm gonna chop those and then put them into the cast iron pan to um, brown up and just deepen the flavor. to a preheated cast iron pan so they can sizzle and um, get to browning just a little bit. We don't generally eat them, um, but because it came in our box, we're going to try something new. That's what I love about Misfit Market. The box is always bringing something that you know, we might not necessarily try. We're not opposed to trying something new, it's just not something I would run into the grocery store and grab. I'm going to take, these are already cooked potatoes. I don't see anything much on them, but if I needed to, um, I would come in and take out either the eye end or the um, vine end. So we had for dinner probably a night or two ago. So I'm gonna just chop these really well and get them ready to go into the soup. So I have those already cooked potatoes, boiled, um, already cooked potatoes, chopped just well enough to go into the soup. The leeks I have roasted off just a little bit to give them some color. I'm going to transfer those to my stock pot or my, um, I think it's an eight quart pot, and finish that off with a little bit of chicken broth. Color on the leek. Toss those around in the bottom of the pan. Gonna add some of the potatoes. I'm gonna leave some of the potatoes. I will probably blend about a cup of these. I'll probably put them in the blender where we're taking out the sour cream. If you put the potatoes in the blender and blend them with a little bit of the chicken stock or chicken broth, it will um, make up for that creaminess and um, take out those points. So I'm gonna finish this off with Just probably the whole thing of the chicken broth. See how it goes. The potatoes were already cooked, so those are going to break down pretty quickly for us. So this one is essentially done. Um, organic chicken broth. 
Let's see how many points this one adds up to be. That is from Aldi. So I'm going to start this on, just keep it working on low. Um, part of the potatoes will be blended and we will have a warm, delicious soup for tomorrow, which is supposed to be a rainy day. So the leek and potatoes and chicken stock have been simmering away. In the blender, I have a little bit of potatoes, water, and a couple of cloves of garlic. Blended that really, really, really well. I'm going to incorporate that in to our mixture there. That's going to give us the added creaminess, and it's just the potatoes we were using anyway. So right now we just have potatoes, leek, and garlic, and chicken stock. You could substitute vegetable broth if you wanted it to be um, vegetarian or vegan, actually. And this one is done. You would adjust the seasoning at this point. Serve with a salad or a grilled cheese, and you have a hearty, filling, delicious, plant-based um, meal ready to go. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.